بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم My dear students of the course Biopharmaceutics and Pharmacokinetics 2 Third year students Ajman University uh, I would like to welcome you to this new topic uh, which is entitled Multiple IV Bolus Dose Administration uh, Previously we talked about single dose IV Bolus Dose Administration we uh, after that we talked about uh, IV infusion and then uh, metabolism and then uh, pharmacokinetic oral administration <coughs> and then calculation of pharmacokinetic parameters. <coughs> now uh, with our previous uh, talks uh, we focused on single dose administration with the exception of age who can tell me uh, we said that IV infusion can be considered uh, in terms of pharmacokinetics can be considered as ish hakena as multiple dose administration. Kif tayyib how we consider that every uh, a second uh, a certain amount of drug enters. It's like we are having very small dose, uh, very small dose in a very small time interval multiple ka'inha as if it is multiple uh, dose administration so here we have something uh, similar in this case uh, what you are supposed uh, uh, to learn or to be able to understand and comprehend in, uh, with multiple dose administration you will expect ish you will expect accumulation of the drug. Accumulation means the drug concentration will build up for a system in our system. The concentration will increase with uh, the multiple dose as similar to ish to IV infusion. Okay, with continuous IV infusion, <coughs> we have seen how the drug concentration increases taban, until we reach. Uh, the steady state concentration where the input equals to uh, output here we have a similar case type we need to understand the integrated equation that we will be using okay to calculate the concentration at any time following uh, uh, n dose n يعني مثلا dose first dose second dose Fifth dose n اللي هي the following the n dose اللي هي the uh, مثلا as I said uh, fifth dose n five بتكون. Also and this is very important uh, for you to be able to do and I explained this in the beginning of the semester is designing a dosage regimen how to calculate appropriate multiple dose drug regimen. Design, يعني he will be able to do what? <clears throat> to say, for example, for a drug X, the dose will be 100 milligram every six hours. طبعاً uh, assumptions here again. إنه عنا one compartment model. <coughs> one compartment model. Uh, second assumption اللي هو uh, elimination is first order. Okay. Oh, since we are talking about IV administration, معنات all of the drug is entering the system. F equal to one. Okay. Uh, in the beginning, we'll go quickly through uh, what uh, we discussed previously. For example, with thing with single IV bolus administration, and we only have elimination here. A DCP على DT equals to minus K alpha CP. Oh, this is first order. Yani the rate of change in concentration is proportional to the concentration <coughs> that is remaining to take that place. Yani to be eliminated. Kul makanat hai akbar, the higher the concentration here, the higher is the rate. Will integration of this equation, ish, you remember CP equal to CP0, fi le fraction eliminated. Okay? At time zero, this fraction is one. So CP at time zero will be equal to CP zero. 
dose by V, dose that you administer by the apparent volume of distribution. And this is how it looks like in a normal graph paper, Lee Cartesian or rectangular or linear graph paper. You will see a curve. If you put it in similar graph paper, because this is first order, you expect to have a straight line. With IV infusion, we have input, we uh, have output. Okay, uh, what did we say? We say that the change in concentration is equal to rate of input minus the rate of output. The difference you see V here. Uh, uh, if you remember the equation we used, we used H. In no V of DCP will be equal to K0, the rate of input, minus V of KEL of CPU. This equation, which is already written in your uh, note, they divided everything by V. We have rate of infusion by the apparent volume of distribution. After infusion stops, we only have elimination, which follows first order, and this is how it will look like. Table integration during infusion, this is the equation. Don't forget that this represents CPSS. Uh, yes, CPSS is equal to K0 divided by K alpha V. After stopping the infusion, شو بتكون التركيز؟ شوفوا this is fraction remaining صار. So it will be the last concentration that you attained اللي when you or at the time you stopped the infusion اللي هي T capital that is uh, CPT okay CPT capital okay. مضروبة في الفراكشن remaining okay. طبعا all these equation we already discussed uh, uh, that uh, for oral administration it's uh, also uh, في عنا rate of change in concentration هي rate of input minus rate of output again here they divided everything by V عشان هيك that's why you see V here otherwise شو بتكون you will see V if DCP على DT you say equals to KA if XG this is positive input minus وهنا راح يكون عنا إيش V في KEL في CP. This is the integration of the equation you see here. Okay, you will see this is a by exponential equation, a constant multiplied by the difference between. Uh, two exponents okay now let's now focus on multiple IV bolus administration suppose you give an IV injection imagine yourself giving someone an IV injection after you uh, inject the drug, طبعاً, you will have CP0, uh, which is the highest concentration of this single dose. And if you leave it indefinitely or for a long time, and then you give the dose again, IV injection again, then uh, uh, the same thing will be repeated. Leish, because after a long time, let's say a few days, you expect that nothing remains from the initial uh, those so what will happen is uh, I will show it to you here in you know, the first dose disappears so things gets uh, uh, things get repeated again uh, you will get the same concentration here and then after a very long time a few days the concentration disappears and so on but what happens if let's say at Six hours, okay. At six hours, you gave a dose. You gave another or, or, or the same dose. Well, by the way, our assumptions for multiple IV bolus administration is that the time interval between a dose and another 
and the dose itself are constant. يعني من نعتبر we will consider that we are giving the drug for example in this case every six hours. Uh, and the dose is the same. For example, let's say I am uh, giving uh, 500 milligram, etc. So if I give 500 milligram, I will divide 500 milligram by the volume of distribution to give me this concentration. And after six hours, again, I will give 600 milligram. What will happen? Now, the concentration you expect it to increase, but Will it reach the same concentration as the initial dose? Sure, I come. No. What will happen? It will build on what is left here. For example, if here what is left is 8 or 10 milligram per liter, then 10 milligram plus what the dose is going to increase. Shufuhona, for example, 25. Sah? Are you 0, 10, 20, 25? So if this is 10, this will increase by 25. Isn't right? 25. This 25, this 25 is equal to the dose that I gave divided by volume. Isn't it? Addition, صح? Addition for what is left. <coughs> now, uh, this addition is referred to why we are adding in all what is left plus what you injected. This is referred to as superimposition principle. Superimposition principle, okay? Which means that you are adding to what exists, okay? Had an exist, you are adding uh, uh, what the dose will cause, okay? <clears throat> this is the accumulation. طيب, with time, خلينا نشوف, let's look at uh, another figure. شوفوا هون, أيو. شوفوا هون, 0 to 4. After 6 hours, it became 2. Alla, the first dose caused a concentration of a dish, 4 milligram per liter. And any dose that I will give, I'm talking about constant dose, will cause an increase في 4 milligram per liter. So after 6 hours, it became 2. The dose that I will give will increase it by 4. And I have 2 plus 4 will be equal to 6. Is then what is left before plus what the dose will do, and this is called superimposition principle. Okay, it's building on what is uh, previously left. طيب شوف هون six. After six hours, صار عنا إيش? Three. طيب I want to give the same dose. شو بصير عنا? Three plus اللي هو dose that I'm giving. Three plus four. شوف صار seven. Okay, and after uh, six hours, it will be three and a half. Then I will add four, so seven and a half, and so on. Okay, my question, my question to you, how this will continue forever? Yani the concentration will continue increasing, increasing, increasing. Yani after one year, maybe all of your body will be a drug. What do you think? Explain this. You remember the first order kinetics that says the higher the concentration, the higher is the rate of elimination, صح? The higher the concentration, the higher is the rate of elimination. This is the uh, rate of elimination, DCP divided by T, is proportional to the concentration. طيب, while accumulation is happening, Accumulation shagal. The rate of change fill concentration bibda is that because accumulation is happening and the concentration increases. You will reach 
a time when the rate or let's say uh, the rate of elimination uh, what is leaving the body during a time interval is equal to what you are dosing يعني equal to your dosing rate يعني let me uh, put it here okay بصير عندنا rate of input اللي هو شو rate of input اللي هو dosing rate the, the dose that you give it during a time interval is equal to rate of elimination مين بيفسر لي هاي who can uh, tell me what does this means it means for example I am giving a 500 milligram every 6 hours and what is being removed in 6 hours برضو 600 milligram now when I reach this stage طبعاً you will reach it after very long time theoretically when I reach this stage منكون وصلنا what we call is steady state so when the rate of input the dosing rate equals to the rate of output we are in the steady state زي الإيش الIV infusion this steady state is also referred to as احفظوها plateau نحكي لها إيش plateau إذا I may refer to it as a plateau where concentrations خلينا نرجع لهون concentrations will be fluctuating between two concentrations اللي هم which are إيش هم CP minimum and CP maximum يعني رح نوصل مرحلة بصير فيها إيش ال concentration fluctuating between CP maximum هاي CP maximum here and CP minimum it will be repeated طيب خلال هاي المرحلة what happens the dose you have injected is getting eliminated okay طب قبل هاي المرحلة before we reach the steady state Dose, dosing rate that we give is more than the elimination rate عشان هيك بضل concentration increases but when we reach this stage شو بصير بصير the rate of input equals to the rate of output another thing which I want to tell you that the minimum concentration that we are talking here are also referred to as trough انتبهوا this is very important trough concentration is and we call it cp minimum or trough concentration trough يعني القعر اللي, اللي, اللي هو الدنيوي اللي it's the smallest concentration اللي هو في steady state طيب uh, in order for us to talk about what is happening let's give you a, an example Our example here is the following. We are giving a dose, an IV dose of 100 milligram. Let's assume that the apparent volume distribution is 25 liters. Okay? And let's assume that the half-life of the drug is 6 hours. Shuffle so assumption static. And we are giving the drug every also six hours يعني the time interval in this case a day show is equal to the half life and it is equal to six hours يعني the time interval the time between one dose and another is six hours which is also the half life of the drug this time interval the term that we use for the, for the time interval or for the time between one dose and another we call it tau شو بنحكي له we call it tau tau is an شو هو tau tau is the time interval from one dose to another and we give it the symbol uh, uh, like t but not like a normal t it's something like this okay tau 
is an hour tau is equal to six hours. Tayyip, before we start looking at what is happening, because our dose is 100 milligram and the apparent volume distribution is 25 liters, so as soon as I give the first dose, should be the current concentration, we will call it CP10. Type shufu. One means the first dose. Zero means at zero time. يعني بعد ال first dose at zero time. هذا هو اللي بيحكوله n. This is n. اللي هو الواحد in this case. We zero at zero time. طبعا this will be equal to h to dose divided by the volume of the solution. فإذا that's why after giving the first dose, اللي هو 100 milligram divided by 25 liters, شو راح يكون? It will be equal to 4 milligram per liter. طيب. When are we going to give the next dose? We will give it after six hours. طيب. شو half life? This is also six hours. معناته what do you expect the concentration to be after six hours? You expect it to be two milligram per liter. It will half this one. Leish, leino six hours he will half life. Taib, now you are going to give the second dose. Kalyan ikte bek ha? CP two two lihu a second dose. At time zero. Shura hikun yisawi? Rah hikun yisawi to be equal to what is left from the first dose, lu two milligram. Plus, the dose that I am giving will cause an increase fi addish. Fi four milligram per liter. In when jib tail four, it's equal to the dose that I am giving divided by the volume of distribution. But why I'm doing this? It's because of superimposition principle. Madam, first order kinetic did not change. The elimination did not change the kinetic first order. Then superimposition principle applies. Isn't CP2 at second dose at zero time, I will have a dish. 6 milligram per liter. طيب نيجي ل CP شوف انتبهوا شو بدي اكتب هون pay attention to what I'm going to write here CP 2 tau شو يعني يعني after the second dose and the passing of time interval, اللي في هاي الحالة, what is the time interval حكينا? هي 6 hours. شو راح يصير في concentration? It will be half CP20, يعني half is 6 milligram. راح يصير عنا 3 milligram per liter. طيب, لما اجي اعطي CP30, شو راح يساوي? Okay, it will be what is left. اللي هو ثلاثة plus what the dose that I'm giving is doing اللي هو adding four فرح يطلع عندي seven milligram per liter and so on بس شوفوا كيف in the beginning it was four هيا في ال CP10 is four بعد ال second dose صار أديش بعد ال second dose صار six هاي من four six طيب من 6 صار ايش بعدين third dose 7 وبعدين رح يصير 7 and half اوكي <تصفيق> رح تلاحظوا انه ايش this, this maximum concentration here starts to level up يعني هنا الطلوع the, the rise here is fast 4, 6 بعدين ببدأ يقل 7, 7 and half and so on and eventually it will be up to 8 my maximum concentration oh sometimes we write it as to make it uh, more clear we write it as max 
at infinity time or sometimes the max goes up etc anyway so in the end the cp max will be equal to 8 milligram per liter and cp minimum at in uh, time infinity يعني بعد so many doses will equal to 4 milligram per liter طبعا you may ask me how did I know this later you will know how but uh, a special case شوفوا special case في multiple IV bolus administration إنه at steady state the concentration will range from CP10 to 2 CP10. This is a special case. Lama, when we are giving the drug every time interval, and this time interval equals to half life of the drug. Is a nice special case. Sure, special case. In no, tau equals the half life of the drug. Asari, I know this. Okay, what will happen? is that the concentration at steady state will fluctuate fluctuate يعني يتردد بين uh, fluctuate between CP10 and 2CP10 طبعا CP10 اللي هو الدوز على V 100 divided by 25 يعني 4 و2 في 4 اللي هو 8 that's why I knew that it will be from 4 to 8 okay طيب why we are reaching this steady state again because now at steady state the rate of input equals to the rate of output طيب uh, what we want to do is to try and develop uh, uh, equation طبعا already we talked about CP10 اللي هو ايش دوز divided by the apparent volume distribution طيب CP1 tau يعني بعد الدوز الأولاني after the first dose and the passing of the uh, time interval راح يكون CP10 okay لو الدوز على V multiplied by the fraction remaining the fraction remaining اللي هو e to the power of minus KL في إيش I, I write T but now I will write it as tau لأنه I'm talking about the end of the time interval okay now because this is a special time I'm gonna refer to this as R يعني R okay R is equal to H e to the power of minus k l في tau عشان هيك that's why I'm gonna call this fraction it's special fraction remaining I will call it r okay is on what is r r is e to the power of minus k l مش في t في tau okay طيب is on concentration after the first dose and the passing of uh, time interval is equal to cp10 في R إذا this will be my R okay طيب إذا if I want to get CP20 okay نحكي it is what is left from the first dose اللي هو CP10 في R plus CP10 صح طيب لو بدنا نيجي نحكي سي بي 2 تاو فهي it is the same one اللي هو سي بي 2 0 وبدي اضرب الفراكشن ريمينينج اللي هو ال R يعني I want to multiply this في R فشو بصير عندنا يلا سي بي 1 0 R سكوير بلس سي بي 1 0 R طيب لما نيجي نحكي مثلا سي بي 3 0 شو راح يساوي؟ it will be equal to what is left اللي هو this one plus سي بي 1 0 فشو بصير عندنا؟ سي بي 1 0 r square plus سي بي 1 0 r plus 
CP10. طيب لو نقول CP3 uh, tau, we will multiply this into H into R again. طيب of course uh, this is a headache maybe for you, but the good thing is we can simplify all these things by using the following equation. شوفوا at the start of giving any n dose يعني first, second, third, etc. You can calculate the concentration at the start يعني directly after giving the dose by multiplying CP10 CP10 شو هو؟ uh, Don't forget it's dose على V by multiplying CP10 في L fraction that you see here اللي هو 1 minus R to the power of N و N إيش هي؟ هي ال N it's the number of dose divided by 1 minus R okay this is how you do it طب شو ال R هي يشوفوا it's equal to dose على V multiplied by 1 minus E to the power شوفوا ال N هون ال R is E أس minus K L في تاو أس N it will be like this you took this uh, uh, in the mathematical background, the first thing we talked about. If it will be 1 minus e to the power of minus n phi k l phi tau divided by 1 minus k l phi uh, to the power of minus k l phi tau. Okay? Shufu, if I'm talking about the first dose, shu rahe kun endi? But see 1 minus r os 1 to the power of 1, but see 1 minus r. Divided by 1 minus R, but here high 1, but here CP10 equal to CP10 equal to dose by V. So at the start, uh, immediately after giving N dose, this is the equation we will use. Okay? And at the end, who enough had it's the same this one, just multiply it by R. Uh, you show it's the same. اللي هو CPN0 نفسه بس you multiply it by R so it's the same thing multiply it by R طيب this will give you the end هنتبهو it's the end of the time interval طب افرضو انا ما بديش ال end for example let's say I want not after 6 hours I want after 2 hours from giving the end dose Badal, instead of using R here, I will use E to the power of minus KL في T. Okay? Is then the fraction remaining will not be R. The fraction remaining will be E to the power of minus KL في T if I'm using an earlier time. يعني, for example, if I'm giving the drug every six hours, but I want the concentration at two hours after giving the end dose, then... هاي بتصير 2 hours okay after giving the end dose وهي فقط ها مش كل ال R not all R's only this R the fraction remaining will change to E to the power of minus KL في T okay I hope uh, this is clear for you طيب now we will talk about the steady state we should term the other term for steady state Plateau. Okay? The steady state where we need to calculate uh, uh, CP max and uh, CP minimum. And the other term for CP minimum, show will other term for CP minimum. The other term, Hakena, the trough concentration, who at steady state. Wada? Type. Shufu, when are we going to reach? Khalina, let's go back. When you are going to reach maximum concentration, you will reach maximum concentration when you are at steady state and you are giving a dose. بعد ما تعطوا الدوز at steady state تكون maximum concentration. Okay? And this happens after so many doses because you need to, uh, theoretically, you need to give so many doses to reach steady state. يعني N will be very large number. هلا R 
to the power of very large number اللي هي e to the power of minus very large number راح يصير عنا صفر okay فإت will be 1 minus 0 لأنه n is large divided by 1 minus r يعني بتصير 1 على 1 minus r and that is your maximum concentration شوفوا your maximum concentration at steady state will be equal to CP10 في 1 divided by 1 minus r طبعا شو CP10 هو الدوز على V إذا the CP maximum at steady state equals to dose اللي هو maintenance dose dose that I give frequently divided by V في 1 minus R طيب هذا CP maximum و CP minimum at steady state فقط إيش سووا اضربوا في R اللي هو remaining fraction after the time interval طب افرضوا أنا ما بديش after time interval افرضوا I want 2 hours after giving the injection and getting the maximum concentration وقتها instead of R I will use E to the power of minus KL في T okay and this is what you see here CP minimum will be the same as CP maximum but multiplied في R أيو بدل واحد instead of 1 I have multiplied by R okay I hope uh, uh, this is very clear to you. Uh, now, the other thing I want to talk about, maybe it's not written here, but it's very important. What about CP average at steady state? Should average concentration? Hal hiye CP minimum at steady state plus CP max divided by 2 this will give you approximate average concentration تقريبي but not exact إذن if I take CP minimum plus CP max divided by 2 this is approximate and it can be acceptable but the accurate is we took it before CP average will be equal إذا تتذكروا K0 على KEL اللي هو CPSS KEL في V It's also equal to إذا تتذكروا F في الدوز divided by KEL في V في تاو Now this is important ال K0 هي الدوزين ريت اللي هي الدوز على تاو دوز على داو هو الدوزين ريت فإتس كي زيرو طيب شو الإف هون؟ إف إز إيكوال تو 1 إن كيس أي إم توكينج أباوت أي في أدمنستريشن فإذا بوث أر ذا سيم ذيس إيكويشن أند ذيس إيكويشن أر ذا سيم إذا هاو كان أي كالكوليت سي بي أفريج إف أي إم توكينج أباوت مالتيبل أي في بولس أدمنستريشن إتس إيكوال تو دوز لأنه الإف إيكوال تو 1 divided by the clearance لو KL في V في تاو هلا هل is this CP average equal to this CP average لو هو uh, CP minimum زائد CP maximum 2 no they are not equal usually they are close but not equal ليش because when you are at maximum concentration and you go at minimum concentration at steady state Uh, CP max وهذا CP minimum you will see that you are not going as a straight line it's a curve uh, بالجراف العادية هو curve but when we are doing CP max plus CP minimum على 2 we are considering them as in a straight line that's why they will not be uh, exactly equal there will be some differences okay Uh, let's take this uh, example. Let's say that the half-life of the drug is 4 hours. The dose is 100 milligram, and we're giving the drug every 6 hours and the volume distribution is 10 liters. Now, what I want you to do is calculate CP average. 
calculate CP minimum and calculate uh, CP maximum at steady state at the plateau. طيب, usually in order to solve this one, it's better for you to calculate R in the beginning because if you see here, we always have R. Huh? طيب, I want you to notice that the half-life of the drug is not equal in this case to the time interval. So they are not the same. طيب, let's start first with CP max. Huh? CP max. Sure equation tau. It's all equal to dose على V. Dose على V. Dose is 100 divided by 10. شو بكون عنا 10? Okay, اللي هو هذا دوز على V أو CP10. طيب, multiplied V1 divided by 1 minus R. R, as I said, we need to calculate R. Will R هي إيش ال R? E to the power of minus K في tau. هلا tau موجودة عنا. اللي 6 hours. بس where is KL? I can calculate KL from the half life of the drug. كيف T half equals 2.693 divided by KL. And it will give me ish 0.17. So my R equal to E to the power of minus 0.17 في tau اللي هو 6 hours and it will give me ايش 0.35 إذا هون بحط 0.35 and then I will get the answer okay now according to this the answer is 15.5 milligram per liter طيب very easy I can calculate the minimum at steady state بانه اضرب ال CP max at steady state ضرب لفراكشن remaining after the time interval already I calculated this fraction which is 0.35 so if you multiply it by 0.35 15.5 by 0.35 you will get ايش 5.4 milligram per liter طيب إذا your conclusion here is at steady state the concentration will continue fluctuating between maximum and minimum concentrations اللي هو between 5.4 milligram per liter to 15.5 milligram per liter طيب هلا what is your CP average CP average at steady state راح يكون ال F اللي هو واحد في الدوز اللي هو 100 divided by 0.17 KL ضرب multiplied في 10 اه بعدين multiplied في التاو طبعا ال 10 اللي هو uh, ال apparent volume of distribution multiplied في التاو اللي هو time interval and this will give you a dash خلينا نشوف 100 divided by افتح قوس open bracket 0.17 multiplied في 10 multiplied 6 and it will give you ايش 9 0.8 خلينا نشوف 9.8 اوكي مليغرام بير لتر طيب شوفوا لو انا جمعت if I add these together and divide them by 2 اللي هو 15.5 plus 5.4 divide them by 2 See, you will get 10.4, which is uh, higher than uh, what you have here. Phase and yes, they are close. They are in between the maximum and the minimum. Uh, the accurate one is this one. Okay. Uh, CP average equation is very, very important because it applies to all routes of administration. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, what we will do now is uh, we will talk about the loading doors. As I explained already uh, previously, uh, you know, we need so many doses in order to uh, approach uh, uh, the steady state. Zayil IV infusion, it's very similar. That's why we may need a loading dose injection that can allow us to age, to reach the steady state quickly. Yani, my first dose that I want to uh, uh, administer, loading dose, I want to get to this one. And at time zero, taban. And once I get to it, after the time interval, I will start giving the normal doses, اللي هم ال maintenance doses. Okay? إذا في عنا loading dose وفي عنا maintenance dose. Okay? ال loading dose, I want to be able to reach CP max. بدي أوصل ال CP max. See again, I want to reach this. From giving the first dose, فبالتالي how will I calculate loading L dose? كيف بسويها؟ بضرب the CP max في the apparent volume of distribution. It will give me the loading dose that will allow me to get to this concentration from the first dose. طيب وبعدين after that I will administer the maintenance dose. كيف ال maintenance dose بعرفها؟ You know that CP max is equal to إيش؟ To dose على V اللي هو إيش هذا؟ What is this? This is CP10 multiplied في 1 على 1 minus R. Okay? So I can see here the dose. What is this dose? This is actually your maintenance dose. Huh? طب شوفوا if I multiply both sides by V. يعني جيت I multiply CP max by V and this by V. شو بصير عندي؟ بصير عندي loading dose equals to لأنه CP max multiplied by V will give me loading dose. طيب هنا دوز على في فملتبلاي باي في بصير بس دوز اللي هو مينتيننس دوز اوكي اذا لودينج دوز يساوي المينتيننس دوز سو في جوز طيب المينتيننس دوز في واحد يعني مينتيننس دوز ديفايدد باي 1 ماينس ار اذا ناو اي نو ذا ريليشن شيب بتوين ذا مينتيننس دوز اند the loading dose. Of course, the loading dose will always be more than the maintenance dose, the value term. Isn't this information will allow me إيش أسوي? كل ال information later on you will see it will allow me to إيش to design a dosage regimen. It will allow me to design a dosage regimen. Now we will talk about this designing of the dosage regimen. Inshallah, in my next topic. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.